Hey, good morning from Columbus WDC. Starting off this morning, we're in the uh, house with the hydrangeas. These are endless summers. Just want to give you guys a shot of uh, all the color that's coming on these. Nice looking material. Now we're looking at uh, hydrangea twist and shout. This is a little variation on the classic endless summer. This is a lace cap variety. As you can see, these are nice looking plants. All butted up. Here's another look at the twist and shout. Just like the end of summer, these guys can be a, a pink or a blue depending on soil conditions. But again, gorgeous material here. This is a three gallon, big, full, bushy plant. Here we're looking at, uh, this is uh, Endless Summer uh, Bloomstruck. These are in a two gallon. And again, nice value here. Um, a little smaller than the threes, but again, for a two, these are really nice plants. Right beside those, uh, these are some more straight Endless Summer. These are in an eight inch pot. So uh, we do have quite a few varieties and sizes to choose from to hit all price points down here at Willoway. And here's another variation on the paniculata hydrangea. This is uh, white diamond. Uh, as you can see, these are all butted up pretty heavily. Getting ready to flower. Here's a close-up. This is a three-gallon. These plants are all nice and large. Uh, the white diamond is a lace cap. A little different flower than a lot of the other paniculatas. And here we're looking at about 100 uh, Strawberry Sunday hydrangeas. Again, another paniculata. These were actually just released for sale. These are in a three gallon pot. Nice compact plant. Strawberry Sunday is very similar to the vanilla strawberry. However, it does stay a little bit more compact. Uh, maybe getting four, four and a half feet tall. Um, you are going to see the blooms come out white, uh, tinge pink, and then finally uh, into a nice red. Um, very very good plant for the landscape being a paniculata it is very tough and hardy uh, staying a little smaller which is desirable and again the color on these uh, is outstanding and here's another great hydrangea again this is a uh, little lamb um, nice big bloom on a small compact plant uh, this is a proven winner's introduction and as you can see we've got good quantities on these these are in a three gallon container this is little lamb and back in the B&B section here, we're looking at hemlocks. Um, you can see we still have good inventory on these. Uh, various different sizes. These are all spring dug. Very nice, full, healthy plants. We're looking at uh, some smaller hemlocks again. Good numbers on these, all nice looking. And here we're looking at uh, Isley fastigiata. These things are gorgeous. Uh, we've got a couple different sizes on these as well. Um, nice specimen plant. Narrow enough to put, you know, fairly close to a house, um, upright grower, great color. And now I'm over in the deciduous area. Uh, again, these are uh, some ginkgos. I believe these are Princeton Century. Uh, these are two inch trees we're looking at right here. Uh, again, still got good inventory on these, all nice, healthy, nice root balls on them. Here, just gonna pan around a little bit, just to let you know that we do have a lot of material B&B &B in stock still. Uh, this is all fresh dug spring material. Here's a nice shot. This is a seven gallon buckthorn. Uh, again, we've got good numbers on these. This is uh, one that is a nice, uh, nice smaller tree, large shrub. Uh, again, very distinctive leaf. Uh, nice specimen, uh, especially if you're looking for something a little different. Maybe don't want to spend the money on the Japanese maple. This would be a great substitute. And again, here is our uh, seven gallon Incrediball hydrangea. This is back in our pot and pot area. Uh, if you're looking for something a little bit more impact, a little larger to start, we have various sizes on these as well. Again, this is seven gallon Incrediball. Here's another example of the seven gallon material we carry as well. This is Pinky Winky hydrangea. Again, nice, large plant, uh, probably three feet across. And here's a very popular little dwarf. This is uh, Mr. Bowling Ball. And again, this is a three gallon. Um, nice looking material here, all uniform. Here we're looking at uh, Itea. This is Little Henry in a three gallon. This is again, another proven winter's plant. Um, what you're looking at here, this is a crop that was cut back after the flower. Uh, this is a plant that's often overlooked. It's uh, again, a, a great three season plant. Uh, does have the white flower in the spring, uh, lush green foliage during the growing season, and a nice red maroon fall color. So, again, a great plant for the landscape. Maybe not as showy as some of the other things, but nonetheless, uh, 
a good performer and, and great interest throughout the year. Here's a block of Bloomerang Lilacs. These are uh, three gallon proven winters plant. Um, obviously not in bloom currently, but again, great looking material, nice large plant, uh, great plant for the landscape again. Um, it looks good even when it's not in bloom. Yeah, we talk a lot about the knockout series of roses. This is another great one here. This is the home run. Uh, we're looking at the red home run here. And as you can see, it does have uh, a truer red color than the knockout. And uh, these things are looking gorgeous right now. Uh, three gallon plants here, um, all bud and bloom. Here's a shot of our Stilby, uh, various varieties and colors. As you can see, these uh, all in good bloom now. And again, I've shot these several times. Uh, these plants are nice oversized plants, great value here. Yeah, here's another shot of some of the hosto. As you can see, we got large quantities, lots to choose from. Mostly all of these are in a one gallon or 19 centimeter pot.